Hey everybody, this is Collector Dude. I'm going to go through the Marvel previews now. Um, it's been a little bit of time in between these, but I'm trying to catch up with... Um, I did a DC one already, now I'm going to do the Marvel one. And I got number ones coming out like crazy. This is by Jonathan Hickman and Ed Bryson. Bryson, Brisson, and Rod Rice. So, that's a nice cover. The new generation claims the dawn. So, let's see what we got in here now. You can see they got another Deadpool coming out. Bow to the King, Deadpool number one. Kelly Thompson and Chris Bacala. That's cool. Bacala. Bacala. Really cool. See, they don't have any the preview pages. Look at this. Here's the artwork in there. The Star Jammers. Everything. So. Different people doing the covers. There's not issue number two right there to cover for that. Cool. New beginning or new generation claims the dawn, it says here. Cool. All right. And cover again. We got X Force one and two here. There's two. So many new books. Man, the high price of a new dawn. Wow. X Forces, the CIA of the mutant world. So there's number one right here Joshua Kassara. Ruin the artwork. It's nice. Now we got Fallen Angels, number one and two. Brian Hill and Simon uh, Zadransky. You see, the covers are really nice. You got Psylocke, like the movie suit. That's cool. Is this X23? Yeah. So, Cable and X23 join, yeah. Salak finds herself in a new world of mutant kind, unsure of her place in it. So cool. Black and white pages. Interior art from issue one. X-Men number two, it says. When an island full of unspeakable horrors appears on the horizon, the X-Men have their work cut out for them. Selves keeping... Krakoa is safe. Wow. Linnell Yu. That's nice artwork. Now, Excalibur number two. Man, oh man. Variant cover there. Was that the main cover? Variant cover, yeah. Tim Howard, Marcus Toe, Betsy Braddock is Captain Britain. So it's a female one this time. Cool. And hopefully the story is good. I'm not sure what happened. What happened to the original? You'll probably find out, I'm sure. Now we got Marauders number two. Here's artwork. Mario Loli or Lolly. It's all everything looks so interesting. You're like, wonder what this is going to be about. The Hellfire Trading Company has control of mutant trade on the seas, but that doesn't mean its inner circle is done stabbing one another in the back. As Captain Pride and her marauders sell on, the real cutthroats are back home. Man, nice artwork. Okay, Annihilation Scourge Alpha. The opening salvo for December's malevolent main event. 
Something is stirring in the negative zone. Wow. Something that the Marvel Universe isn't ready for. That looks cool. Okay, what's, what's stirring? What's stirring? Okay, now we got Absolute Carnage number five. I haven't been keeping up with these. I find them in half price books. Everything, like I said, I've been going to half price books more often. Some of these I really like to get, but um, I may get in half price books instead and other things. Venom and Carnage to the Death. Hmm. All red cover. Oh, nice artwork. This is Absolute Carnage Weapon Plus. Number one. After one of the pilot missions of the Sims Soldier Program, Rex Strickland was given a highly classified mission by Nick Fury himself. Where exactly did the ancient symbiont known as the Grendel come from? Whoa. Wow. Absolute Carnage, Captain Marvel. Number one. Chewie's been carnageized, and Carol ain't happy about it. Wow. Okay. Scream Curse of Carnage number one. Nice cover, cool. Out of the Ashes of Absolute Carnage, an ongoing an all new ongoing series. Wow. Scream Curse of Carnage number one. I like Jim Chung's artwork, that is really cool. I think that's Jim Chung. Yeah, that's his, the top is his initials and he puts them together. That's cool. Now this looks interesting. Venom number 20. Donnie Cates is still doing it. And you got a variant 2099 cover. So these are gonna be the 2099 checklist. So that you got to get the books. Is it telling a story here? I guess twenty ninety nine. I'm not sure what it's going into. Is it for Carnage or something totally different? This is Amazing Spider-Man number thirty four, thirty three, and thirty four. The future is in peril. Then we got eighty years from now. Is twenty ninety nine? Wow! Imagine being alive then. Comic book collectors back, or then, will be talking about this. You know, like the, the TV shows, and they say that they're different years and everything like that, different predictions and stuff like that. And then when you finally reach that year, you're like, hey, what's going on? Like 1984 and all the different stuff. 2000. Cool. 2099 Alpha number one. So, cool cover. And Conan 2099. Got a variant cover there. And he's got a lightsaber. Wow. The sword that's a lightsaber, that's cool. Energy sword. This is Punisher 2099. It's armored. He's got the old suit. Now we got Fantastic Four 2099. That's different. The future belongs to Doom. Hmm. We got Deadpool number one. Kelly Thompson and Chris Bacalo. Bacalo? Bacalo? David Finch is doing the cover here. And Morbius in there, huh? Hope that's a good movie when they come out with it. Maybe it'd be like um, how they teased Ryan Reynolds on Green Lantern. They keep teasing um, Jay, Jay Leto um, about uh, Joker. So hopefully he'll do a good Morbius. And I guess we'll see what, what goes on. Deadpool number one.
You see, a lot of Deadpool, some book, Deadpool books are worth something, but um, like the first series and everything. But the newer ones, depending on what it is, they're not really worth a lot of money. If you like Deadpool, though, there's so many different books he got coming out. I, I see a lot of different books, and half price books. Some of them are going for a lot of money, and some of them, I, I don't buy them if they're too high. But if they're reasonable, I'll pick them up. And here's a Morbius number one. That looks nice. Morbius is the living vampire, or is he more? All new ongoing series. For years, Nobel Prize winning big biologist Michael Morbius has been struggling to cure himself of his vampirism. And now for the first time in years, one may be within reach. Mm. But the path to it is littered with dangers and worse. That's a cool cover there. Is that Glenn Farby? Looks kind of like that. No. Ryan Brown. That's cool though. So I'm not sure what he's going to be like in the uh, movie and everything. If he's going to be like a tragic hero or a tragic guy that something happens to him and he can't control himself and he does bad things but he doesn't want to. So we'll see. Yondu, number one and two of five. Wow. And the cover here. That's different. I like him in the movies. I'm Mary Poppins. Interior art from Yondu, number one. Punisher Soviet. Max Comics, parental advisory, it says. So what we got going on here. Interior art from Punisher Soviet, number one. I mean, when you look at this stuff, you like you look at it and you see it done. But the process, I'd love to see the guy or girl draw, drawing this. You see what they did, the references and everything like that. And then see them color it. Ink it and then color it. Because look, it's nighttime. Then you got the explosion here, the crash. I mean, it looks cold outside, doesn't it? When you look at that, just the, the cool colors that they use. Wow, then that's hot with them shooting the gun. Or the, um machine gun there. I'm not sure what the name of it is. Practice my um, recognizing guns. I saw a book at Half Price Books today, like a, like identifying weapons and stuff like that. So you look through and just look at all the pictures and um, be able to name all the different weapons and everything. My girlfriend's really good at that. She shoots and stuff like that. She hasn't done it in a few years though, but um, she knows more about it than I do. And I've taken a concealed carry class and everything, but um, to learn how to um, shoot would be nice. Punisher Soviet number one of six. Nice cover. Garth Ennis again. Ooh, that's nice. Marvel Tells Doctor Strange number one. That's cool. And we got a Spider Man number three of five. J.J. Abrams. So I got the first book. I got like the first book over here. So I'm to, I went through it, but I got to go and uh, read it and everything. I was tired when I was reading it before, and it wasn't making any sense to me, so I'm going to have to go back and read it. Here's no, $2.99, $20.99 variant cover. I like Giuseppe's artwork. Okay, we got Amazing Mary Jane, number two. Artwork with that. That's cool. MJ versus Mysterio. See, I want to see that movie because I saw bits of it on YouTube to see Mysterio have him all tripping and everything like that. Almost like he's losing his mind or something like that. See what's going through all these different um, dimension things and stuff like that. I want to check it out. This is kind of weird. He draws her kind of really skinny. Look at her legs. Like she's like a skeleton. It's like, come on now. I like his artwork though. So I'm not sure who's, who this is compared to um, the artwork on the cover there. Everybody looks really skinny. Now we got here, this is awesome, Spider-Man Velocity. 
Marvel Spider-Man Velocity number 4 or 5. It's a race against time in the first all-new Marvel's Game Reverse story. That's cool. I like that variant. McSpeed. This is Spider-Verse number 2 of 6. Funny. Then we got Ghost Spider, number four. Ooh. And Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number 12. A lot of books, guys. Everybody. A lot of books coming out. You got the 29-9 variants. Maybe it's just the variants. It is, but it must be the tie-ins to stories or something like that that's coming out. Something's going on. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, number 14. Nice cover. Just think about all the artwork that they're constantly doing to put these books out for us to read. Just work after work after work. Black Cat, number 6. Just continually, continually putting out more and more stuff. Writing and drawing and inking and coloring constantly. That's cool. Okay, I'm going to stop right there so the videos doesn't go too long. Um, uh, let me know what you think, and I'm going to do a part two. But thank you very much for watching. You guys, Collective Loot is out.